Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 review and today we're doing another what if scenario. So before we get um, started guys I just want to quickly mention a um, massive thank you for everyone who has subscribed recently. We are getting close to 2800 now I believe. Let me have a quick look here. Yeah, we are getting extremely close to that 4K mark. We're at 3,768 right now. Yeah, we are getting really, really close to 4,000. So, obviously, a massive thank you um, for everyone who has um, obviously recently subscribed and everyone who has been watching for a while. Just a massive thanks to you guys. I much appreciate it. And for anyone who is new, welcome to my channel and I hope you enjoyed my videos. Um, so, yeah, that is it. But what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be swapping Venus and Mars around. And then maybe we'll colonize them after. Um, but it probably won't be the longest video of all time. But. Yeah, it's a nice um, well, shorter one today, so I've got to make three videos a day right now, so yeah, I'm, I'm quite busy on a grind, I guess, making loads of videos for when I'm on holiday next week, but anyways, let's get into this. So, Venus, we need to put Mars in your orbit. So, let's um, spawn a Mars here, and let's see what happens. I don't think I've really ever done this before. I think I've done something similar, but not exactly the same, so there is pretty much the same space. So, there's Mars, so we're going to delete Venus. And then where Mars is, we are going to put Venus down. So let's search Venus. We'll use my custom Venus. So this one here, if it will load, just so you can see a picture. Yeah, this Venus is really cool. This is a modded Venus. So there we go. That's a proper good looking Venus. Not like that green looking one, which is the normal one. So there is a Venus placed in the orbit of Mars. Looks like we may have to change the orbit settings on it since it is a little different. So if we hit click play, if we go to motion here believe that these may be slightly different so 1.88 years so that's 1.88 um but this is slightly different from the number so it's 1.85 inclined and 0. so it's 0. 0.09 on this number here so 0. 0.09 that should pretty much be enough i'm hoping if we just go on orbits here let's have a quick look so if i uh, move it i'm hoping it will be Okay, is it going to do anything? Ah, oh, I've always forgot how, what these things really do. Hmm, okay. So 1.52, uh, Venus is on 1.68, so we need to put this to 1.52. There we go, so then now they're sort of, um, it's looking better. 1.67 on this number, so 1.67, there we go. So that's changing it a bit. Oh, it's, a little, it's a little off, but I guess we can roll that for now. Hmm. Venus and then Mars. And then these stats down here are different as well. 1.85, that's... Well, so this needs to be 1.85. There we go. Okay, yeah, but I think that's close enough. It's pretty much going to be the same sort of temperatures out here anyway, so... And as long as it's got 188 year old, but that pretty much means it's in the same spot. So, Venus and Mars are now swapped. So let's click play, and let's see the changes that will happen. So, I'm going to look on Mars first, because Venus, I'm pretty sure we can all work out what's going to happen there. So here's Mars. Good old Mars. So play, and as we can see, that temperature on Mars, if we go to mo or normal here, is now increasing above zero degrees. So Mars is going to heat up, as we can clearly see here, because obviously being that um, much distance closer to the sun, being that whole lot closer, that's going to make a massive difference on Mars's temperature. So as we can see now, it's going up into the 30s, so it's above the temperature of Earth now, and it's still increasing. But remember, Mars absorbs a lot more light than venus does but it does have less greenhouse effect so it probably won't be as hot as what venus was due to the less greenhouse effect but i reckon it will probably get to around maybe 50 degrees so it's increased time here and is it going to get any hotter no only at 35 degrees wow i thought it would be hotter honestly i i really did think it would get hotter than that only 35 degrees from mars and then venus over here still at 230 degrees because remember, even though Venus is further from the sun and it reflects a lot of light, that greenhouse effect of 90 ATM is still a massive amount. So it's still going to be hot from this distance here. So we can really speed up, see how fast it will run. That's still going to be above 200 degrees, as we can see here. So, yeah, Venus is still very, very hot. But Mars, on the other hand, we could give it a colonize. Like, if Mars was closer, it probably would be colonizable right now. We could just add a bit of water to it, and there you go. It probably would be um, a planet that would work. So what we'll do is, we'll, um, why not, why, let's colonize it, why not? So, but overall though, if Mars was in the orbit of Venus, it wouldn't be too hot. 35 degrees is manageable. You probably could survive there. Though obviously not in the sunlight all day, because you probably get a lot of sunburn or whatever, but, and you're closer to the sun, remember, but, 
You probably could survive here. If this had water and oxygen, you could probably survive it. But Venus, on the other hand, in the orbit of Mars, it just wouldn't be able to... Um, you probably won't, you wouldn't be able to survive there unless we remove that atmosphere. Because if we remove the atmosphere, let's actually do that. Why not? So if Venus was in Mars' orbit without an atmosphere, so we go zero and then zero. So no atmosphere on Venus. So now we hit, um, now we speed time up. Watch that temperature just drop. Because now there's no atmosphere. So it, when it reflects all of that light, all of that light is getting reflected. Nothing is getting absorbed now. So it goes really, really cold into the minus 140 area. So now Venus is freezing cold. So Venus has taken over the position of Mars without its atmosphere and got even colder because Mars usually is around minus 50 degrees so in that area but this is pretty much almost triple that in like it's really really cold there almost triple the number of Mars's normal um, temperature there so wow that is a massive difference at Mars good job like it probably it probably worked. if we put climate mode on add a bit of a tad bit of water to it so we're not going to change the atmosphere or anything we're just going to leave it the way it is so I'm not going to edit the atmosphere in any way. We've just turned climate mode on. Let's see if Mars could actually survive with water on it from this distance. So we'll give it a magnetic field as well, just to um, so we'll basically wake it up. So if you didn't know, right now Mars does not have a magnetic field because it doesn't have an active core. So yeah, Mars is geologically dead. It, it has volcanoes. Some of you may ask, why don't they erupt? Well, the planet's core is dead. It's just completely um, hard on there. There's no liquid metal. Like we don't think in there so mars is just a dead rock it's not it's not like earth where it's got an active molten iron core it's just a frozen iron core down here i believe it may be hot but i don't think it's active enough to make any volcanoes erupt or earthquakes or anything like that so yeah poor mars is dead i'm pretty sure someone will um, explain it a lot more in detail in the comments if they want to but yeah that's the base of it mars is a completely dead object there's no active core in it so there is that um let's increase the water a bit more Okay, that should be enough water, because Mars, most of Mars' um, lowland is in the north here, but the more mountainous areas are more in the south, so there you go, you can see it there. So if we click play, is it actually going to survive, or is it going to freeze? Okay, so you can see, Mars does work. We've not changed any of the atmosphere pressure. The atmosphere pressure is still the same as what it originally was. All we've done is added water to it and turned climate mode on. So Mars, if it was in the orbit of Venus with its current atmosphere, and it had a bit of water, could actually work as a place to live. As we can see here, I think this is a nice little experiment. Obviously, because um, it is a game after all, maybe it'd be different in real life, or, or probably would be. But still, it's just a, just a idea of what a possible, or what could be a possibility. So if Mars was closer to the sun, and you added some water to it, it would work fine as a planet. Maybe, the, obviously, the surface pressure is a little different. and I don't think humans could survive with low surface pressure. I think we can survive better with higher surface pressure, but less pressure, I don't think that's very good for the human body, so we probably could breathe here, uh, or breathe fine, but I reckon the surface pressure, you probably have to wear a suit or something, I don't know, but yeah, that seems like it works quite well, 28 degrees, it is hotter than Earth, um, so obviously it is closer to the sun, but it's still warm enough, it's not too hot, not too cold, I mean it is a little warm, but... Yeah, it's not too insane. And actually, speaking of temperature, it's finally got colder in the UK. It's finally been a colder day today. Oh, my God, it's great. If anyone who's British out there, happy days, right? <laughs> but, yeah, there we go. So, Mars is now pretty much colonised without doing anything apart from adding water to it. So, pretty cool stuff. But, yeah, there we go, guys. That is that. Um, Venus, we won't colonise because even if we did add water to it at its temperature, um, even, even if it had the atmosphere it would just, the water would just boil away and obviously without an atmosphere it would just freeze so for instance venus would just do that so yeah venus is uncolonizable if you didn't change the atmosphere in any way so yeah there that is go though guys so hopefully you enjoyed today's video make sure to hit, hit that like button subscribe for more if you're new to the channel um and you haven't subscribed yet maybe you consider pressing that button it helps on the journey to 4,000 subscribers it's much much appreciated obviously a massive thank you to everyone who's already subbed and continues to watch the videos every day just a huge thanks to you it's absolutely amazing and yeah that is everything so let's see if we can go for 40 likes on this video and yeah if you've got any more what if scenarios let me know down below in the comments but yeah that is everything guys so i'll see you in the next video goodbye